All right, so for today's video, we're gonna take a look at what I keep inside my Toyota Tundra. People are always asking me, hey, what do you keep in there? So I'm gonna empty the whole thing out in the tailgate on the bed right now, and we're gonna go through it and take a look. Uh, some stuff you gotta have because it's a truck, other things you gotta have because it's me, but let's pull it all out and take a look. All right. All right, so the main five places I keep stuff in this truck are right here, right here, under the seat. There's a really good storage down here. Under the back seat, right here. There's tons of room under there. And lastly, back here. This is a ton of room back here in this storage compartment. All right, so I emptied out the entire truck. Uh, some of the stuff I remembered it was in there, other things I forgot about, but here it is. Everything that was inside the truck, and let's go through it individually, uh, each piece at a time. Okay, so. For starters, we have a windshield sunshade. This is a great thing to have. Uh, I ordered this off eBay. It actually is the perfect size for a Toyota Tundra, so I love this thing. There's some that are really bulky, hard to open up. Uh, I really like these flimsy type. They get the job done and they don't get in the way, so that's that. Also, uh, I just have a random towel in there, just a random towel. I think that's a good thing to have. You never know when you're gonna need it on the side of the road, put your knees on it. Uh, you're at the beach, I don't know, who knows? Good to have a towel. Also, another thing that is good to have is just a hat. Uh, let's say you're stranded somewhere or you need to work out in the sun or who knows what, maybe you need some kindling to start a fire, but it's good to have a hat, so I keep a hat in there also. Um, and also, I think it's good to have a recovery strap. Uh, this is actually a, a number one priority. You gotta get one of these things. Um, if you've used it before, uh, I'm not telling you you need to go buy a brand new one, but my recommendation, go get a brand new one. You'll never be able to bunch it up like this again. Uh, this is how it's gonna take up the least amount of room. Um, I just like these basic Smitty Built recovery straps. I think this thing is perfect. Uh, what's in here? We'll get to that in a second. Uh, that's also part of it, so we'll do that. So uh, I usually just keep a, um, a Ziploc bag in here that has uh, some, some random items in it. So we got a, just a regular Johnson Johnson first aid kit. We have a magnesium fire starter. It's another important thing to have. Uh, these emergency blankets. Now, I've actually never used one of these before, but apparently these can be very helpful. Uh, very helpful. So we got those. We got one of these things right here, fork and knife. You know what, if I'm actually stranded uh, out in the middle of nowhere, I don't even think I'm gonna be concerned whether I have a, a fork and a spoon. Um, I will eat with my fingers, but anyways, eh, whatever. Good thing to have. Uh, I have a little pack, it has some hydrocortisone, some Band-Aids. Um, check this stuff out, this stuff is, this stuff is a trip. This is a, actually packets of hand sanitizer, uh, little packets so it never goes bad. And uh, easy to easy to store, so that's kind of cool. Uh, an inhaler. I don't have asthma, but I, I, I've uh, needed an inhaler before. It's a good thing to have, I guess. Uh, a little flashlight. Let's see, this one works. All right, we got a flashlight that works. Uh, I wear contacts, so I keep uh, an extra little pair of contacts in here, also. And I also keep a spare pair of glasses in here. That's another thing. Spare pair of glasses with the contacts good to have uh, also a screwdriver full-size screwdriver with different uh, different options for there we got another little toolkit right here this is just your basic little toolkit um, again good to have oh, the tape measures are gonna come uh, come in real handy uh, in an emergency situation I can just see it you know you need to measure something um, so we got that I managed coming up with four pins total. That's right, four, not just one, but four pins. So that's important to have some pins. Uh, I think it's kind of a little strange. I have it wrapped up in a sock, but I actually have a, uh, a pocket knife in here, a little Gerber. And uh, I keep it wrapped, wrapped up in the sock because uh, I have two little girls and I don't imagine them going through my stuff and finding it, but when they were little kids, sometimes they'd be in the truck by themselves, and I didn't want them stumbling across this thing. At least this way it gives them, uh, they gotta figure out a little puzzle to get the knife out first. So I just thought that was a good thing. I keep it wrapped up in there. Probably don't even need to do that anymore. Um, iPhone charger. 
important to have super important and not only just keeping this but you got to have one of these also let's say you end up somewhere random and but you can't hang out at the truck you got to go inside and you have a wall uh, outlet super good to have um, i also keep a what is this a micro usb end one and that's for charging up a uh, a gopro that i keep in here and i keep this gopro in here for sort of a um dash cam which we'll get into that in a minute i'll show you that but i, I gotta keep one of these in, in case i gotta charge that uh tire pressure gauge super important uh, and don't go get one of those two dollar ones you don't need to get a twenty dollar one this is like a ten dollar one maybe eight decent tire pressure gauge super important to have and then also a decent led flashlight it's good to have a little funky cheap one like i had but a good one like this super important to have also anyways next thing super important some deodorant i got axe the apollo the axe uh spray i'm telling you apollo is a fantastic scent if you're not familiar with it go out try the apollo i've smelled them all some smell horrendous some are too fruity. This is perfect, perfect right here. Apollo, let me tell you that. And in here, we have an emergency shovel. I don't even know how it works, but I'm sure I'll figure it out if I have to. But emergency shovel right there. Uh, we'll figure out how that goes back later. Chapstick, super important. Chapstick, you gotta have one of these. Another thing, you don't wanna end up stranded in the middle of nowhere without some chapstick. We got some Tylenol. Even though in reality, I got two Advil in there. So, but either way, some pain medicine. All right, so a spare key. That's right, I have a spare key in here. This truck needs uh, keys that have a chip on them. This key does not have a chip. This key will not start this truck. The only thing you can do is I can start the truck with this key. And then while it's running, I can actually lock the doors with this key. So it's sort of like a ghetto auto start thing. So. On a cold day, you can go start it with your regular key, lock the door, you come back, you unlock it with this, that way nobody drives off with your truck. Um, also, if somebody breaks in the truck and then they find the key in the center console, there's nothing they can do with it. They can't start the truck, and since they already broke in the truck, uh, it's not like this is gonna help them get inside. So it's, it's a foolproof, think about it, it's a foolproof method for ghetto remote start. So until I get the real thing, we're just gonna keep doing that. We got 35 cents here. No, 45 cents. Yeah, 45 cents. Super important to have. You always want to have some emergency money. So 45 cents. Uh, I also keep one of these uh, strap-on flashlights. These are really, really cool. Um, I don't even think we had these more than 10 years ago. I don't know why. These are super great to have. It's nice to have your hands free. I don't know why we didn't have those, um, but we should have had these forever. Uh, and then also we got some, uh, some astronaut food here, some strawberries. This goes with my little uh, bag right here. Super good to have. Uh, this will probably give you maybe two minutes worth of energy right here. So good to have some strawberries. Uh, sunglasses, super important to have sunglasses. I always keep an extra pair in the truck. I have the, uh, the window sticker from when I bought the truck, certified used. I got my registration and insurance card that I always know where that's at. Uh, some napkins. And let's move on to this right here. So, what's in here, you ask? Well, I will show you. So, what is in here is that. That and that. And you're wondering, what are those? All right. I'll show you. All right, so now that we're down here at the wheel and tire, what I got here is I got an extension. I got a step down from half inch to three eighths that I stick on here. I have a socket and lastly, a wheel lock. All right, so this entire contraption right here just to get at my lug. In here we have an Allen wrench. This Allen wrench removes three of the bolts. We get the center cap off. Well, what do I do with this, you wonder? Well, inside the sheet right here, we have this big old breaker bar. So stick this on here, and now we have access to the lug nuts. Now, I don't think a tow truck's gonna have it. My factory toolkit's not gonna work. So if you're running 
20 by 12s, 20 by 14s, 22s by whatever, wide wheels, you're gonna, I would recommend keeping this inside your vehicle, uh, this setup, because I don't think uh, you're gonna have many options when you're on the side of the road. Your factory toolkit's not gonna work, and I don't know if everybody's gonna have all this stuff. So I keep it right here ready in case something happens, because I don't wanna end up stranded on the side of the road. So um, that's how I do it. All right, so this is that, uh, that GoPro session I was showing you that I use as a dash cam sometimes. So check it out. Uh, I just took a mount, I stuck it on my windshield right here, and then uh, whenever I get the need, I can just stick this thing right in there, and you can just run it as a dash, uh, as a dash cam, just like that. Uh, I think it's gonna come out clearer than just a regular dash cam. It actually works perfectly, and I just had this GoPro sitting around. The sessions aren't really good for anything anyways, so I figured it was a perfect, perfect spot for it. When you're done with it, just pop it right off, and you're done. Throw it back in your center console. All right, so anyways, that's a look at what I keep inside my truck. Uh, let me know if there's anything that I need to be keeping in there that I'm not, if there's anything that I'm keeping that's unnecessary. Uh, let me know. Let me know what you guys think. Anyways, don't forget to like and subscribe, and have a good rest of the day. Oh, and one more thing. So yesterday in the evening, I washed up the Sequoia super good and took some video to show how good it looks. After the lift and wheels and tires, that thing's looking beautiful. Anyways, check it out. Thank you.